this is a huge story that has not gotten nearly the attention um, that it should and which we are just picking up on because neither of us has, I don't have any little babies anymore, so I was not mm-hmm. aware that this was all going on. There's a huge nationwide shortage of baby formula that, frankly, has been going on for months now. It's only getting worse. Um, government has not been responsive at all. Obviously, for uh, many babies, formula is their sole source of nutrition. So it's very it's not like you can just substitute something else. This is what babies need to eat and to be able to survive. So this is a major problem. Let's go ahead and put this the numbers up on the screen here. This is from um, NBC. They say effectively that you've got the share of baby formula out of stock across the U.S. hit 40 percent on April 24th. Um, That's according to uh, a number crunching group called Data Assembly. That's up from 29 percent, which already seems pretty high to me back in March. Um, They have an expert here who, you know, is indicating what I was just saying, that unlike other food recalls, shortages in the infant formula supply affects a major or even exclusive source of nutrition for babies and inadequate nutrition could have long-term health implications for those babies. The states that are seeing the worst shortages include Texas, Tennessee, Missouri, Iowa, North Dakota, and South Dakota, all with out-of-stock rates of about 50%, a total of 26 states. So more than half the states have out-of-stock rates that are between 40 and 50%. Now, why is this happening now? We have New York Times with a little bit of reporting. Um, Part of what happened here is there was a significant, go ahead and put this tear sheet up on the screen. There was a significant recall of um, baby formula that was produced by uh, one of the major producers, Abbott Nutrition. Um, What they say in the New York Times here is parents across the country are struggling to keep up with the nationwide shortage. It's a problem worsened by a recent recall by Abbott Nutrition, um, manufacturer of baby food. That recall came after at least four babies were hospitalized with bacterial infections and two died after consuming their products. That's according to the U.S. FDA. Horrifying, horrible, horrible situation. Um, Just to give you a sense of how central Abbott Nutrition, the company that ultimately had the recall and is contributing to this shortage, although they're not the entire story, they are actually the exclusive supplier for more than half of the WIC agencies nationwide. So they say this is not some isolated issue and that the shortage is particularly acute for infants who require specialty formulas to address allergies, gastrointestinal issues, or metabolic disorders. So listen, for you know some babies who don't have those allergies and they're not sensitive, they can basically have whatever formula happens to be on the shelf. Mm-hmm. But if you have an infant who has a specialized need and you need to get a specific type of formula, this is in particular a major issue for you. And then the last part of the story here is that you have um, effectively every major retail that is putting limits on how yes. much parents can buy. Walgreens, Target, but it's also Walmart. Costco. It's also Costco. Yeah. It's also CVS are now placing limits on baby formula due to supply shortages. Um, and the last thing I'll say about the saga is that uh, – Formula is also already a really significant expense for new parents. Mm -hmm. Um, On average, parents spend between $1,200 and $1,500 on infant formula in the first year alone. So when you're talking about those costs going up, which they have, that also is a a major, you know, financial strain for uh, families and for new parents. Yeah, I mean, I was telling you, I have a friend who's a new mom. I mean, this is a really stressful situation because they don't know what the supply is coming from. And especially, you know, some people like to stick to a single brand. You don't even have that luxury in the current market. And then Amazon has a two-month backlog for generic (laughs) baby formula. Wow. And, you know, I mean, the stuff that really scares the hell out of me is every major retailer in America is rationing baby formula right now. If you are a new parent, I mean, that's already a very stressful situation. Uh, It's one of those things where you really want to plan for the future, and you're just simply unable to do so. You know, imagine just hoping that you're going to be able to get some here. Uh, You know, my friend who's a new mom eventually had to, you know, reserve some online at a store, which was several miles away, and then hope that it's there. Whenever you drive to go, I mean, you know, you have a little infant child which is relying on this for, this isn't like a shortage of meat. Now, look, we all, like, most people like meat. Uh, you know, you definitely need meat or, you know, at least some of the things that meat gives you, you can get it elsewhere, you know, if you are careful about it. But this is the exclusive source of nutrition. Like, this is the only thing that some of these kids are able to eat. And like you said, the wick, uh, 
that part, part of this is also really important because the WIC program is for a lot of moms who are, uh, are in the lower end of the income spectrum. And also, I think single, you know, very, more disproportionately more likely to be single. So you've got like single moms who are now depending on the WIC program to get their formula. And then you've got over half of WIC states where their exclusive supplier is this one particular brand who now issued a recall and they straight up are not able to get the formula that they were reliant on. So look, I mean, this is a catastrophe. There's a lot of problems, obviously, that uh, this exposes. It shows you also part of the problems with some of the ways that we, uh, some of the ways that we do this. Actually, I was reading from a policy level, which is that by exclusively contracting with Abbott Pharmaceutical or Abbott Nutrition, mm -hmm. we guarantee a price. But all, part of the problem with that is actually is that Abbott then doesn't have the flexibility in production because they only plan to you know produce a certain amount in order to meet that price by WIC. So the basic thing is is that the actual infrastructure to spin up baby yeah. formula quickly does not exist. Period. Yeah. And now we have a massive shortage. And guess what? There is no, at least from what I can tell, current response. Uh, from policymakers. I know Jen Psaki was asked about it yesterday, Crystal. Yeah. But they got nothing to say, I mean, at a very basic level. Yeah, about what I mean, she, she said, ensuring the availability of, these, availability of these products is a priority for the FDA, and they're working around the clock to address any possible shortage, but she did not outline any steps the Biden administration is taking yep. in addition to what the FDA is doing, whatever they're doing. Unlike with oil, the president can't tap a strategic and familial reserve to offset low natural supplies. She said, I don't believe there's a national stockpile of baby formula. And actually, there's, there is one lawmaker who has proposed something, Abby Finkenauer, who is a um, Democrat from Iowa. She called on the White House to invoke the Defense Production Act to Good. force manufacturers yeah, to produce additional baby formula. And I think it has come to that. I mean, you can't leave these moms and uh, yeah. new parents high and dry like this. I mean, this is this is absolutely essential, critical supply. It's way more important than any other food source that you can ultimately think of because this is this is it. If you have a formula fed baby, this is what they eat. So um it really is a, a kind of a brewing disaster here. And um they they recount in the New York Times one mom who um was searching online and found like 10 cans of whatever mm -hmm. brand of formula for $40 each. Is that, a, I don't actually know. It's a, a lot, lot. that's okay. a lot, yeah. I mean, formula is expensive, but I think it's more like $25 a okay. can. Um, but yeah, $40 a can is a lot. And so, and she reached out and was like, please, I I have to have it. I have, I can pay in all cash. And, and that's for someone who had the means to do that. Yeah. Now imagine that your budget is already stretched. Formula and diapers are already one of the top items that ultimately is stolen both because of desperate parents and because mm -hmm. of criminals who know that they can ultimately resell it. So it's it's a bad situation this that is, needs to get more attention. This reminds me too of the inflexibility of the FDA, you know, at a time when Europeans had rapid tests that we didn't have yeah. and unavailability. Listen, I'm a protectionist at heart, but there's a shit ton of baby formula sitting in Europe right now. We have a ban on European imports. Apparently, a ton of US parents already illegally import <laughs> European baby formula. Really? Yeah, it's like goat milk based and they like it. <laughs> Listen, I don't know anything about it. I was reading a little bit more I what i'm don't saying even know is anything about that it, just wave the damn whatever tariff protection against this thing send a c47 over there and let's get some baby formula here and let's give it away to anybody who needs it i mean these are the basic functions of government you can't be leaving these new moms in the lurch it's probably stressful and as hell enough in order to have a new baby in the middle of an economic crisis especially if you're single and especially if you're poor so i would love to see something like that from the biden administration but as i learned during covid it's not like you know, these bureaucratic, you know, rigidity will force them to be like, we're reviewing the situation while everybody is just sitting, suffering and stressing out mm -hmm. at home. I mean, there's literally an entire market over there. It's not that hard to go and get some. And like I said, 
I didn't even know this, Crystal. There are Facebook groups where parents are illegally importing European baby formula already. So if the Do Facebook moms, know. if the Facebook moms can get their hand on this stuff, it doesn't seem that hard for the, the government. The U.S. government should be able yeah, to yeah. figure this shit out. That's my basic response. Cable news is ripping us apart, dividing the country, making it impossible to function as a society, and making it impossible to know just what is true and what is false. But the good news is they are failing and they know it. That is why we're building something new, a new mainstream, a healthier one, something more trustworthy, something that we are going to need in one of the most pivotal times in American history. We are building up here for the midterms, for the upcoming presidential election, but we need your help. So if you can help us out by becoming a premium member today at breakingpoints.com, we're trying to change America for the better and the entire world. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go to breakingpoints.com and sign up and help us build a new mainstream.